Hello, hello, and good morning to you. Welcome to today's video where we are going to talk all about hobbies. And it might look a little bit different for you because, well, we all have different hobbies, right? I thought it would be a fun topic because, well, we are approaching the holidays and the new year, so this might give you a good idea for like a new year's goal or gift ideas for people in your lives or maybe things that you want to start doing yourself. Since I have moved here and as I have made friends, we have had conversations and the question always gets brought up well Julie what are your hobbies or what do your your kids like to do what are your interests and I never know what to say because well I raise my kids I have a family I clean the house I cook dinner and I go to bed tired at the end of the night <laughs> there is more to it than that but let's jump into the kids and what their hobbies are First things first, let's talk about the boys, Cooper and Porter. They've done a little bit of basketball, baseball, soccer. They like sports, but I wouldn't consider it a hobby for them. But Cooper has really wanted to do Cub Scouts and there wasn't a good program where we, where we were living. When we moved, we got them signed up for Cub Scouts and they have loved it. They have really just dove right into it. They did the popcorn cells and they love earning pins and belt loops. And Cooper has also really liked rocks and he wants to be a geologist when he grows up. He was showing me his rock collection the other day. He was showing me his Christmas list today about what a geologist needs and that's what he wants for Christmas. They can earn Cub Scout awards for geology and they already have a great rock collection to start with. So I thought it would be fun to add something to that. This is the Combstone Rock Tumbler, and as I was looking at videos on YouTube, I didn't realize how big of a hobby it was for people. I was getting very interested, and it just looked like a lot of fun to be able to smooth out rocks. I read a lot of reviews on a lot of different tumblers, and this one had really, really great reviews. So let's jump into it and get started on tumbling some rocks. Included in this rock tumbling kit was the instruction manual, a mesh strainer to rinse the rocks off, the wire adapter, and of course the actual base unit, along with some fun accessories if you want to display or wear your polished rocks when you're done. It came with a tumbling media, and it came with a 100% soft rubber barrel that absorbs the noise. This thing is massive. You can hold like two and a half pounds of rocks. It also came with a screwdriver to pop off the lid as well as a pound of rough rocks. You can see the before of these rocks, they are very rough and pointy and rugged and very dull looking. I'm excited to bring the boys in and get these things polished up and looking nice and smooth. This is going to be quite the process. It's going to take some patience. There's about four different rounds of using the grit that it comes with to get it nice and polished and pretty looking. Porter, we got a rock tumbler. It makes your rocks all really shiny. Whoa. This has been such a fun activity to do with the boys. They were just loving it because they love rocks. They rinsed them off with water first and then put all of the rocks in the barrel. And you can see how big of a barrel it is. We added the first grit and then you fill it up with water. You put it on the base unit and you just follow the instructions that are in the manual. We put ours at speed three for about five days. I am just going to pause that. This is a nice function. You can pause it and it won't reset the amount of days and I can resume it if I want to. But we are going to rinse these rocks off and look at them and then start the second cycle. I suggested to put this in the garage, but the boys really wanted it in the room and I'm actually really surprised with how quiet it is. Lefty Lucy. Nope. Nope, other way. Oh. Whoa. That's Ew. not what I expected it to look like. <laughs> genuinely impressed that was literally just one round one round five days and they are so pretty I mean it's, it's worth it to wait yeah. that long to get this place is it really worth it totally worth it yeah these are the same exact look oh I, that's pretty I had this one in the kit one time all right Porter what one is your favorite probably this blue no. I like this one. That was my favorite. 
Yeah, remember the before of this one right here? Yep. This, they were all like really bumpy, especially this one. These two I remember being really bumpy. Okay, well if you guys are interested in a rock tumbler, this is a really good one. I am going to go ahead and leave it linked down in the description below. My dad always said that as the kids got older and older, we were more fun to be around, and that is totally true. Like, as much as I love the little kids, having preteens, they are so fun to be around because she has so many ideas, and it's just really fun to be around, Emma. She likes me. <laughs> I'm just the best. You're so cute. So, Emma is loving is it sewing class or is it like home oh, ec? My style. My style, and you sewed that. Was that fun? Yeah. I'm so cute. So, welcome to my shop. These will be about like $2 each, depending on it. The bracelet. That's actually really good. Have you been to Etsy lately? Like no, she's not, she's not really selling them, but she loves to make bracelets. And you've done a really good job. Like, look how stinking cute that one is. She made one that says, Mama. Okay, the kids used to have a bracelet kit made out of, like, little rubber bands. That was really cute. They went through, like, all of them. These are clay beads. They really like those ones. And then, like, the seed beads, the just, like, the really small beads are probably her favorite. And... That would be one of her top things that she does. She comes home from school and loves to make bracelets and little rings. Look how cute those little rings are. This is supposed to be a lemon. Cooper says it looks like a pineapple. Well, it can be whatever you want it to be then because it's cute no matter what. Kansas City with cherries. That's darling. Smile. Another thing that I have told my kids is if they want to get into any kind of lessons or learn something, they need to do YouTube videos first because there's so much you can learn on YouTube, correct? Um, but with the guitar, Emma has wanted guitar lessons. Sherry gave this guitar to her, this one's dad's. Dad will play his, tinker around, and I told Emma if she wants guitar lessons to watch, like find a channel on YouTube, watch the videos consistently, and then, and then, and then you're home, you're home, yeah. Um, I mean, tell me about your guitar playing days. Oh, I just picked it up in Finland and have just kind of self-taught. Self-learned and he does a really good job. One year, he really wanted to learn how to play the... Oh, banjo. The banjo, yes! And we got one for you for Christmas and then he never used it because he was busy. So we sold it, but that's okay. It's good to explore new talents and some of them come and go and I'll have an opportunity later. Oh, guess what? I'm almost on a 30 day streak. Ooh. I actually just turned my phone on and Duolingo's right there. Yeah. <laughs> Duolingo. Is that a Duolingo. free app? Duolingo. Duolingo? Duolingo. Duolingo. Is it a free app? Uh -huh. Emma and Landon have been learning Spanish, which I think is amazing. I think it's really cool that they want to learn Spanish. Will you speak some Spanish? No. Just, yes, no, yes. Manzanas. I don't know what she just sí, said. Yo como manzanas muchos. I eat lots of apples. <laughs> <laughs> she said, you eat apples? Yes, I eat lots of apples. <laughs> They're like competitive. They, that's yeah. literally but been what they do a lot lately. How do you say, where's my suitcase? ¿Dónde está mi maleta? Oh, sí. Yeah, where, ¿dónde está mi maleta? Where's my suitcase? Yeah, that's actually pretty fun. I, there's some, some folks at my work that speak Spanish, and so I'm able to practice and mostly hear it, which is good. But yeah, it's been really fun to, to practice this and like mm -hmm. send each other high fives. And Dos. And oh, I'm learning numbers now. Uno. Dos. Nine. Tres. Nine. Cuatro. Cuatro. Cinco. Cuatro. <laughs> Seis. Well, Emma, your cute little drawings up there. You definitely did not inherit your crafty side from me. Your drawing skills came from Grandma Griffiths. Wouldn't that still be from you? That's true. Well, yeah, but it skipped a generation, okay? <laughs> it is my turn to talk about my hobbies. Yes, I grew up playing the piano. Is it a hobby? No, not really, but it is a talent that I have and I am very grateful for it. Did I scrapbook? No, and I do not like scrapbooking. To me, scrapbooking is like, ah, I'm not a crafty person. I don't have a big imagination and so didn't like that. 
However, I would absolutely say that online digital photo book making is a hobby of mine because look at this. I do not like to have a bunch of unorganized photos on my phone. And so you can see I've got like Emma Cooper, Porter, Lucy, and I still need to make Millie's baby book. We have traveling photo books. We have yearly photo books, cousin photo books. This is my hobby. I love doing it. I have done chat books. I have done shutterfly books and my mother-in-law has made us a few traveling ones. And so keeping my photos organized is a really fun thing for me to do. Welcome to my kitchen where I spend a lot of my time. The family depends on me to have most meals ready for them. Yes, they help plan and prepare and they're an awesome help. However, I would say it's kind of my job to execute the meals in the household and I'm good with that. I could keep it very basic level, here's some pancakes most nights or whatever, but I have turned it into a hobby and I know I still have a long way to go with things to learn and experience. But I dove into the world of sourdough a year ago and I have really enjoyed it. It has become a hobby because I find myself watching YouTube videos, following Instagram accounts to learn how to make sourdough Christmas tree bread. I mean, look how beautiful that is. And a year ago when I first started, I would not have been able to do this. So it's been really fun. I make homemade tortillas and I figured why not take a chore that I have to do and just turn it into a hobby with something that I enjoy doing where I can get new tools and try new things. It's been a lot of fun. And so in January or at the new year, I am going to be diving into some more in-depth videos on how to bake with sourdough because it is a hobby to me. It is something I enjoy doing and I want to bring you along as I do it. So the next time I have a friend ask me the question, Julie, what do you like to do as a hobby? I should be more confident in saying, well, I like to make photo books and sourdough bread for my family. Really, I, I mean, I used to sew a little bit when I had a working sewing machine. I, I think it is fun to do like quilts and stuff like that, but I haven't really jumped into it a whole lot so I don't know if I consider that really a big hobby of mine right now but it has been fun as the kids have gotten older and as they have had more interest into specific things I've been able to jump into their hobbies with them and that's been a lot of fun it makes me feel young again kind of like a kid again <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you got some great ideas and if you liked it give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next